so beautiful, but you know you look better with me. I can open up your eyes, show you something better to see. I can't get you out my head when I watch and repeat. I'm so far gone. I be thinking about the future, I can't stop seeing you. Why you bless me with this feeling that I don't want to lose? So many women, baby, why you Let's figure this out. Let's, let's, let's figure this out. How much should you spend on first date? Now, my top is 60 bucks, Jack. My top is 60 bucks. Let's see if we can get a woman to tell us how much should you spend. Or no, how much? There's no women talking about it. Hold on. I mean, why would a woman tell you? Because a woman wants you to earn her date. So she's not going to give you. All right. We're going to shout these people out. Uh, the 418. And everything. They're the um, receipt. receipt. Yeah. <laughs> uh, they had some pork chops. They had some wine. They had some salad. You know, they oh, sometimes. There's an expectation, I don't know, still probably now. Like I said, I've not been in the dating pool in years, but I feel like there's a certain level of expectation attached to the date, um, whether who pays for what and all that stuff. And so what are we going to do after? Because I haven't spent all this money on I, you. Y'all you gotta, you gotta, so, not give me a number, bro. Oh, wait, it says it right there. It says, in this video, Isaiah- $178. See, I was trying to preface it. Yo. Nah, bro. Nah, bro. Y'all smoking drugs, bro. <laughs> Shows how men spent $178 on the first date and wondered if he'll spent too if he spent too much money. Oh, he said he spent $178. See? Yeah. Oh, y'all, listen, bro. Hold on. Let's break this down. <laughs> you ain't getting 178 first date. You gonna you gotta go to bed. I'm not giving you that. I'm not spending that. First of all, I don't know you lying, man. <laughs> I don't know you. I don't even know if you're gonna like what I like. Yeah, that's no. What, but that's what ties back to the movie date. That's what you listen. Women want to see it. You can't measure now. Don't get it wrong. We all know that the movies are expensive. Like, don't you ever forget it. Like, no matter what decade you win, the movies is always going to be expensive because it racks up, right? Like popcorn, uh, candy, drinks. That stuff adds up. The truth is, a woman wants to see it you know, in physicality. So it's like, all right, you go to the date, she can uh, measure the restaurant, the quality of the food. You know what I mean? She, she wants to see how much, um, how much you took into dressing up for the date. You know, are you dressed up appropriately? I'm ready. Nice? Yeah, no, yeah, that's not going to work. I'm ready right now. Yeah, no, nah, not for today. No, I, I wear my good beanie with it though. You see what I'm saying? Coordination. No. Yo, <laughs> no, it's, Yo, it's gonna be a no what do you mean it's gonna be a no i'm sorry i mean i'm just keeping it real with you i am auntie i'm telling you guys could have been there done that they are not listen man you can't take these people to a movie you can't take women to the movies man they can't see the money they can't even if you took her to like those really cool um those are like expensive movie theaters with the cool club chairs and you know, it's like a whole movie experience. Nah. Y'all tell me in the comment section if women still do movie dates. I don't even hear women talking about movie dates. I don't even hear women saying, if you take me on a hey. date, take me on a movie date. Usually it's like they want something kind of different oh, or unique let's see, situation let's see what and i went to a pastry shop spent 20 something dollars there then i had a rooftop dinner and i spent probably like 80 something dollars there on myself i did that all for myself yesterday and like when i got back to my hotel room and i sat down after just having an amazing date with myself i kind of thought like about the car dates that i've had with guys the bare minimum that they've given me when there's like i want to hang out with you i want to take you out or i want to like get food with you and really they just take me to a food truck or they sit in a car with me and i I'm like, how did I ever I love food trucks. Yeah, what's wrong with food trucks now? We what's got, going on? We gotta stop there. A roach wagon is 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 so boho chic. Like you can't especially if it's a taco truck. Oh my Ooh. god, bro. Man, I forget Ooh. about the date. <laughs> That's the only taco trucks are the only dates 
that you take chicks on and it's so good, they don't care about how they look when they're eating. There, uh, remember that episode on Modern Family where supposedly they went to this really extremely fancy restaurant, but they were waiting for the whole family to come. Then they, they finally went. Mm-hmm. And he came outside, he said, I want the taco truck. I want the taco <laughs> truck. Mess with that. When I probably spent over twelve hundred dollars on myself in one day for a date with me, and like I would twelve hundred dollars. Never settle for less. Like if I'm gonna, go, if I'm gonna treat I got myself for like twelve hundred dollar dates, I'll be if I if I go down in the future. No. <laughs> <laughs> We both laughed at the same time. Please act right. 45,000K, y'all sub to him. That's where we're getting this video from. (laughs) (laughs) Sorry about that. Okay, so let's get into this. So yesterday in Beverly Hills, I spent $1,100 on a pair of shoes from Gucci. Well, good for you. You know how to spend your money on complete garbage. Fellas, here's a woman who has what is called misplaced priorities with money. She could have spent that money starting an annuity or putting that money in our 401k. You know, something that earns compound interest over time. The only way I'm going to spend $1,100 on a pair of shoes is if I put them on and I don't have to walk. They better make me glide across the floor with zero effort. Now, let me get this right. I like this guy. I'm going to sub to this guy. Listen, y'all. So we found that she's young. Yeah. We found the new expectation of a date. My price, which I think were good enough to be one. <laughs> Don't laugh, bro. I'm sorry, cause you get no oh, man. man. So <laughs> no, bro. No, bro. You with them, bro. No. I would, oh lord. My thought process on a on a first date was sixty seventy dollars, forty five if she ain't down the ride. You feel what I'm saying? So and after a while, once we get to know each other, you know, the next date we may go do a hundred dollars. You know what I'm saying? And at the third day, once I feel like, oh, I'm feeling it, joke. Like I'm feeling it, joke. It's about to be me. You bust out to two fifty, twelve hundred. Day one. Twelve hundred, bro. Well, first of all, let's can we just break this down really simply? What the eleven hundred dollars shoes got to do with, with our date? date? Yeah, well, you got shoes on now. Like, what are we talking about? I just she tried to extrapolate that into it, and it's just like, okay, so let's deduct the shoes that he can't wear, and he doesn't get the pleasure of seeing you really walk around in them. So twelve hundred, eleven hundred, so a hundred dollars. So a hundred dollars is way more feasible. Um, you know, she said she went to a rooftop dinner. Listen, you take yourself out. That's your that's preference. Dope. But if someone, the idea of a date, see, dating is obscure now. Dating is just a way to get free stuff. It's almost like how celebrities get free uh, swag bags, grab and bags, stuff, and grab stuff. bags and stuff. That's what dating is. Dating is not to actually develop a relationship or rapport or friendship or anything with a person. It is a filler for your lonely existence in order for you to get a meal at the end of it. That's all that is. It's cheap prostitution. First of all, first of all, first of all, first of all, I feel offended. Do you know what type of work me as a 20 year old man had to put into that good price point? That took time. I ain't even add gas. Cause I got a big boy truck. So you can go add $20 to that. So I'm really talking about $8. And that's a good, see, right now, we're not boyfriend and girlfriend. We're just friends. Yep. Platonic at that. Because we're not eat, we're not sexual. It's the first date. Yeah. $1,200. This stuff right here, get, and this is my thing, and I don't like getting on people's looks, but she don't look like a $1,200 date. Let's yeah. just be real, bro. You, you, you hitting Vegas escort numbers. You don't look like a $1,200 date. So why are you requiring how much choreographed escorts in Las Vegas charge to meet up? Why is your price the same as theirs, but you're not a whore? That confuses me. You're taking their marketing scheme, but they look a certain way. They go to the gym. They get plastic surgery. They have the genetic gifts from jump. You have none of those, none of them. But you want the same freaking price? Then tell me right now, since it's a market now, why wouldn't I just go to the escort? Yeah. And at least I know I'm going to get some butt. I think that's why everyone's just confused because if women are, if we're looking at this from the woman's perspective, there's no gain. Why would anyone in their right rabbit mind do this? Like, I mean, let's take sex out of the equation. Let's take all of that. The idea of a date is to measure a couple of things. One, safety. Am I safe around this person? Right. Two, 
do I genuinely just like the company of this person? Vibe, sense of humor. Yeah, all that. Y'all, you know, see if the chemistry's there. Pheromone, yeah. sexual attraction. Yeah. I think, and, and also, it's an age thing, too. A lot of you guys don't date your peers, and you're not dating She's not dating sensibly. someone her age. Yeah, so a person that you're wanting $1,200 from is usually going to be an older person. Which, and they want sex. And they want sex, whereas uh, someone your peer, they're going to be like, girl, don't you want to go oh, roller skating? And But I don't get paid. And go to the carnival, like so. That's what I'm saying. You guys are not dating with good intentions, or you're dating um, disingenuously. Like that's just, and, so. And, yeah, if so. I break up with my old lady, I'm just gonna die not having sex. Like I'm just, I'm, I'm just aged out. That's what I feel right now. I feel like, what the heck was I thinking? Well, no, I think now what's happening is that the dating world is becoming very separate. Meaning, there are women and men out there that are disassociating themselves with that ideal of dating. Like, and what app they on? I don't know, but I know I've seen people that's like, um, they they'll do or wear things to show their tribe of people. So, like me, I'm Star Wars. So I'm looking, I'm showcasing myself publicly or socially. Like, listen. This is what I'm into. I think that's why everyone has social media presences now because it's like I want the I want a person to already vibe with what I got going on before I even speak or before right. I even actually meet that person. So you, you meet somebody, he's too serious. You see that? Oh, she's childish and don't talk. Bingo. You're like, well, I ducked the bullet because then I have to get with you. I'd be bored. Bingo. So it's like you know, twelve hundred, bro. bro. Twelve hundred, yeah. That's crazy. That's funny. That's the number. Twelve hundred. I mean, I, <laughs> inside you. <laughs> hey, you <laughs> but um, but twelve hundred. That that I, I I physically want to charge her with a crime. Like I don't think that is crazy. Like like and man, I done closed the deal with 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 one blunt Waffle House. And they picked Waffle House. Movie joint or just let's go to Waffle House. Let's go back, chill in my crib, smoke the L in the backyard and close the deal. And then as I get older, I also have to think, too, did I close the deal or did they close it? See, did, as I get older, I wasn't closing deal. Deals were being closed on me because <laughs> some of them times I wasn't expecting nothing like that. I was just thinking, yeah, woody, woody, woody. And it's just like titty. Like what the heck is going on? <laughs> I mean, you came over here and the deal closed on me, but now I'm thinking, was I just dealing with trash people or, or is my expectations too low or, or, or am I stuck in the nineties where a good movies was in our movies, our movies, you went to the movies, it's cool, then she stood on the step because, you know, they lived in New York and stuff. And they, she stood on the step because she was shorter and then he was taller. And then he was like, I had time with you, Elizabeth. Blah, blah, blah. And then she's like, he tries to kiss her and she does the cheek thing. And then he wants to marry her because she's not a slut. Like, what happened to that? Yeah. I'm old school or something. Yeah. I've aged out. Well, you know, that example that we've seen with that young lady, um, I can tell you as a woman, she's never been on a date for $1,200. She's just putting it out there so hopefully someone can catch the wave and the vibe. She's never been on a date for twelve hundred dollars. I've been on dates. I've been on extremely um, fiscal dates, financially successful date people, and all that other stuff. And to be honest with you, once you get to that level, you don't speak about that. That's all the aura you put out is already expected. So for her to say, hey, this I is what I want. I never took her on $1,200. I'm going to be real with you, bro. I ain't got it, bro. I mean, I I've... It. That's a lot of money. First of all, it's the under the undervalue of money. Yeah. $1,200 is a ridiculous... That is someone's 50, 60-hour work week, and they don't even get to take the $1,200 home to gum and get some. Yeah. That's 60 hours worth of work to the average American. Twelve hundred freaking dollars. But the the reason why I the reason why um I'm so angry, man. The reason why I don't require that is because I'm for I'm for the team. Spending that type of excessive money, um I'm gonna look at you different. Yeah, it's just stupid to do. I mean, honestly, it's just stupid to do. It doesn't make any round. I'm gonna sense. think you ain't got your money together. Like you you're bad spending. Yeah, if you're spending twelve hundred dollars at a dinner and you guys are renting or you know, you still got debt, you know, and, you know, you have other priorities. So you're going to look at his, when he show you his credit report, you're going to be like, 
You're still paying on this Yeah, car? you could have took that 1200 and put it towards that. That As I get older, that's what I've noticed about myself. I said, oh, okay, well, I can have a good time for free. Um, I think what people put is a price tag on their sex. And to be honest with you, sex is the most natural thing that you could do. It's the right. thing you're going to do as, as often as you're sleeping. So. I'm better at sex than women. So should I be charging? Like, I'm just confused at this point. Like, so now this is what's going to happen. I'm going to go. It's like, boom, cool. Okay, cool. $80. Like, well, all right, I do 200 You know what I'm saying? I got to boost up for the inflation. But if we do have sex, I'm $500 a, a go. So I spent, why are you laughing right now? <laughs> I spent 200 to, You owe me $300. And you want her to cash have you? Or uh, we'll do it this way. It is... $100 an orgasm. My average is three. For you, you gonna get three. Four if I'm on a good day. Five if I've been eating vegetables all week. You know what I'm saying? So if you run off with five orgasms, that's 500 deducting the date that we had from 200. That's $300 you owe me. And I want my money. Should I do that? Or, 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 or are you charging me for me to get you all five times? So let me ask you something. And I only get one? What do you mean? So let me ask you something. Am I indebted to you? Oh, you, you 300,000. No. Yeah. 300,000. <laughs> no. And I've been thinking about selling your debt. Like, I'm, 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 you laughing. I'm dead serious. No. I've called people, so and so financial, trying to figure out how I'm going to get my money. <laughs> Listen. Can you? <laughs> yes. I'm sorry. I am awesome in debt. I mean, but how, I mean, how much money? Because, see, I'm thinking like, Thinking what? You know, if we were to like break it down fractional, you know, points on the back end. I did that already. It was five hundred in the beginning. I gave you a two hundred thousand dollar rebate, and now we're down to three hundred thousand. Yes. So if I like, okay, what do I owe right now? Three hundred thousand four hundred and sixty three dollars. Yes. I have a file on the computer if you want to see it. No, I'm not just giving up these 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 this good sweet thing. And this is my thing, bro. Man, we got to start charging, bro. Because th- let, let's break this down. We doing the work, bro. Y'all doing the work. Then you muscle dudes, y'all should really be charging. Y'all lifting chicks up against the wall and <laughs> hanging them over. The oh, and then you turn around giving her the money after you done did all that. You leave and got to take a shower. You done sweat. Like, no, bro, no, bro, no. Then we drive my car. You got tires, oil changes. You know what I'm saying? This will add up. So my thing is. With the uh, with the abundance of vagina in the world, why are we paying? Because the way that women think about it. But there's so much of it. Because they, okay, they have to invest in themselves. See, you got, okay, first of you all. Keep you keep going back to them. I'm talking about the market. But see, what it's you so got much to vagina. understand is, see, what you got to understand is that when you invest in yourself, I'm trying to differentiate myself from the competition of other You're women. Not, how can here. you differentiate yourself? Your genitalia you will have to be different. All vaginas are wet holes. At the end of the day, that's what we're discussing. But what? But can she inspire you? What can, do you? T- but can she? But what else can she bring to the table? Can she bring the the degree and uh, the money and all that? What else can she bring? Of course, she can bring the money. She didn't took twelve hundred a man. <laughs> oh, so you want to take twelve hundred and reinvest back in? All I'm saying is, where is the checks and balance? Well, who's doing the the Excel sheet on this? Like, what? Who? How are we gauging? Because I'm a counter. I count. I I can. I have a tally in my head of what's going on. So if you just about to give me the butt, we've been on three dates, twelve hundred a piece. That's three, two, four, six. That's thirty six hundred dollars. You in the hole right there. Bam! I get you five orgasms. That's another five hundred dollars. You understand me? So we we up to four thousand one hundred dollars. See, women tally, but they're just accountants that skim off the top. See, they do the slow drip. The slow drip is, um, I'm gonna get you for as much money as I can up front. And if that doesn't work, then I'll get it where it's a slow IV drip and get money on the back end, which is, you know. That's cool for your accounting, but I'm accounting. Well, most, I mean, apparently most men don't uh, account, but I think men are doing it now. But most men have have more than one account open. Oh. Understand that? But I ain't giving y'all the drip. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> See, they got, they got multi-accounts. <laughs> You know, offshore accounts. You understand what I mean? So if this one faulty, they got a, 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 a we'll call it a 
a fat, not attractive account over here that makes up on the back end. You see how that works? Oh, okay. So they're so handling multiple. That's usually the baby mama. Oh, okay. Gotcha. So then when you get out of whack and start getting crazy, I can go live with my baby mama. I don't got to deal with that. Maybe so about baby mama or their mother. So is it safe to say men just have a surplus or a um, reserve that they can always give to? That and men are smart enough to use their business credit, business loans, and a lot of these dudes are scammers. Mm. So I can take you on a $1,200 account. Uh, Travon can take you on a $1,200 date with Bill Arthur's credit card. Mm. And now you gonna give me up the cheeks and I ain't spent nothing. And you know, a woman mentioned that a woman said that she does not go out with men that uses credit cards because she know how that works. Like, wait a minute. Does she? Didn't. But credit cards have uh, with a credit card. The first thing they do when they get a stolen credit card, they take cash out. So how would you know? Well, I think what she was looking at it as from that perspective of, okay, you didn't really spend the money on me today. You're spending the minimal payment. Of that uh, amount. So it's like if it was a $500 date, she know that technically you're only going to pay like $75 on it, $100 on it. And I get what she's saying, but the That's truth That's stupid because like I said, I could just take the money out the bank and just show the cash and it still ain't my money. No, I know. But what, I, what she doesn't realize is you have no benefit at that level. There's levels to it. Meaning when you're at, for, we're talking about first dates. First dates, you should not be worried about no man's pocket. It's going to shoot you in the foot because- Men are looking at first impressions. One thing I learned about men is this, how you are that first day, you can never deviate from it because the minute that you do, it's over. They yeah. treat, they will treat you accordingly. So if you are the good girl, if you're the whore, if you're whatever you are that first day, you have to take that to death. If you do not, that man will re-strategize yeah. and treat you according to the new And then you'll be you like, know. why are you lying and have sex with that girl? I thought you like lemon juice. Like we don't... <laughs> <laughs> so now you want to realize like yeah. really so my, my, my thing is this at the end of the day you worrying about something that is a fiat currency mm. it's a fiat currency meaning it ain't real so you got to have a lot of something that ain't real for you to get these cheeks that's so stupid at the same time do you like being around a person yeah. that's why i'm gonna hit you with the waffle house and all that because first of all i mean real she gave me some cheeks when i took her to waffle house because she had never been to waffle house <laughs> but it was a revelation to her Coming from up north, and I was like, oh, "This is waffle house." Like, I ain't ever been there. She almost died eating that food. <laughs> she almost died. Like it was the spot. And now every time I pulled into a waffle house, she would move around like a puppy. Like, oh snap, it's about to go down. Like right. it. It's so bad with waffle house. It so like when we were team driving, and he would drive the night shift, and I'd be in the back seat, and I would fill the truck. I knew where he was. Well, waffle house stops because when he would stop for a waffle house, it was a smooth stop. Right. See, when he's like feeling the stuff, it's like jerky, whatever. But when it was like, yeah. she remembered the the continuity of waffle house's corporate driveway. Yeah. Oh, that's a thirty four degree angle. I know. Yeah. Where we I know how he had to maneuver. So when it would be like, you know, I could be dead asleep, and I would just wake up out of my dream and say, we're at a Wawa. Look, Wawa. Like, Come on, baby. That up. and Bojangles. Oh, Ooh. and man, when we got Papa, that's a whole nother move video. Papa knows. Was, oh my God. Because my thing about Papa knows, we want to do sexy time, but we couldn't move after we ate it. So we just <laughs> laid around with the grease sweats. Like, <laughs> it was so disgusting. No? <laughs> you want to do something? Yeah, I'll get you later. I ain't got time. <laughs> and slept like a whole day ruined. Yeah. If you're going to go to Papa knows, that is the last thing you do. Don't ever, don't ever think you're going to have Mr. I'm going to go time. have a, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and y'all bloated Putin. Ooh, God. Ooh, God, sorry, man. Like it's bad, bro. It's but bad. this is my thing about the first day, man. Y'all need to go to bed. <laughs> I, I'm y'all. If y'all going out to old dudes, you better not come near me because I'm gonna laugh you <laughs> in your face. Twelve what? Negative. <laughs> this is something my dad taught me way back in the day. Down the count. If if you make a woman laugh, you can have sex with him. Teaches you. This is what you're supposed to do. To, conversation will get you way further than throwing some money around. Throwing money around going to do that get you a bad baby mama and STD. That's it, bro. You don't got to do all that. And I do make you. I do make you laugh, and you get them cheeks. That's cool. You know what I'm saying? So it's all we we, we good. But understand one thing: you owe me that three hundred thousand. I ain't life got to. Can you what are you talking about? I got Dean writing the papers up right now. Like this is not a joke. <laughs> Brother-in-law. <laughs> right, the paper's up. Let's sell this debt off so we can get back solid. Listen, you feel what I'm saying? If, listen, as long as I owe you, you'll never be broke. <laughs> That's a lie, because I need to go get something right now. I ain't got no money. 
And that's <laughs> with that old player, Joe. Hey, as long as the wind blow, you won't be hot. Get out of here, bro. What's a blast furnace? Anyway, let me get on out of here. Let's dig it down, Brown. I'm always out of town. This is the Burning Miles channel. We discussing issues, popular culture, everything. You must sub. Be a part of the notification gang. We're on Twitch. Oh, yeah. Hey. I'm looking at the thing right now because we're on Stream, stream Labs. Yeah. Ray Pierce just followed the Twitch. ALLD320 uh, just followed the Twitch. Unicorn underscore tacos just followed the Twitch. The school just followed the Twitch. Don't do drugs. Be happy. And if you're charging 1200 for a date, just know your throat going to be late. That's all I got to say. Let's roll. We outie 5,000.